guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel and I am here with another collab. Today I am collabing with Joy from Joy's Way and I will put her channel down below. Um, I started watching Joy because I got drawn in by her really colorful backgrounds at first. I was like, what is in the background there? And she would always change her backgrounds up and they were super colorful. And then I fell in love with her personality. She is just so upbeat and so friendly and her colorful eye looks pull me in every time. She wears lashes and I don't, and I don't know how people do them. So I may try them tonight just to like start practicing inspiration for joy. Um, but then I started like looking through her channel and I loved that she did like a ton of unboxings and she would do a lot of hauls and she has birds that she features on her channel. You can always hear them in the background. Um, she's a really big family person. So I reached out to her and I said, hey, you do such different looks than I do. And we seem to have quite opposite personalities sometimes, even though a lot of things I think we match up with um, value wise and, and the way we like the way we deal with things like I'm very, you know, socially I shut down. I don't always want to do stuff. She's kind of like that, too, sometimes. So like the more we started talking, the more I found we had in common. And that was so awesome. So I, I did reach out to her and I said, hey, can we do a collab? Because our looks are always so different. And so what we decided to do was to choose a palette for each other and then choose a shade. So we sent each other pictures of all our eyeshadow palettes and then we each chose one for the other person. So I'll leave her channel listed down below so that you can check out her video. Um, and I'll hopefully I'll have a link to it that I can put in here in the description box. Um, and if not, you'll have to go to her channel and look. But um, so, yeah, so let's, let's get into the look. I have my whole face done and I will come back and show you the palette she chose and show you swatches. And then we each chose three shades. For the other person so the challenge is to do a look with all three shades okay so i'm back i'm zoomed in and i'm ready to show you the palette she chose the ColourPop garden variety palette for me and the shades she chose for me to feature are the first one is um prickly please over the bloom and then this one here smudge off so i was a little nervous because i'm like i've not used these three together so this is prickly please over the bloom and smudge off and I've never used just these three like colors usually I set my eyes and blah 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 so I'm going to use the Gerard Cosmetics um, clean canvas eye base in fair to um, prime my eyes and then I will move on with the shadows I think what I'm going to do is put that purple in the transition and then possibly like beef it up in the crease and stuff, but and then use the other shadows as my lid shade. Oh, I put some concealer on my lids and I probably shouldn't have done that because now it is creasing. You know, I'm using that Rare Beauty concealer and I really like the look of it, but it's a little bit high maintenance. I have to put it on and then I let it sit and then I buff out the crease and then I set it and it's fine, but I have to set it, which is kind of annoying. All right, so the next step I would normally do, I'm not doing because we're only allowed to use the shades that we chose. So I'm not setting my eyelids. So I hope that everything works out. I'm gonna take this fluffy brush and go into um, this prickly please color. Prickle, prickly please, yeah. And I'm just gonna dust, I'm gonna dust that all over the lid as like my setting shade there. Um, I can't wait to see what Joy does. I chose a palette for her that I think I would gravitate to out of her collection more so than anything else. Cause like I said, and it's one that I've been eyeing. So I'm like, hmm, let's see what she, she chooses to do with it. And it might inspire me to pick it up, even though I need another palette, like I need a hole in the head. So, um, so yeah. So Joy's been off of YouTube for a while, but I hope that this is gonna get her back in cause I do miss her presence um, being on here. Okay, that's pretty. It's like a really nice like peachy shade. And then I'm gonna take this um, 
denser. This is another rougher brush. That was the, what brush is that? That was the rougher 27. And now I'm gonna go in with the rougher 01. I know, bougie bougie. I'm gonna go in to smudge off and I'm gonna put that in like my transition area here. Maybe I'll have to spray this too to see. Let me get my spray in case I need, cause I wanna try to deepen up the, I really want the purple to pop. I know, I'm, I, I feel so bougie when I talk about these rougher brushes, but I gotta say, they, I feel like everything I do is effortless when I use them. And I feel like I can do, I, I feel like I'm so much better at makeup when I use them. Everything blends so nicely. If they pick up product better. Okay, see, why is that one looking better? Um, and so this Garden Variety palette is part of my panning through the seasons, but it's not until September, uh, spring. So at least I'm getting a head start on it. Okay, so that is that. I'm gonna take this um, Ruffer 28, it's like a flat shader brush, and I'm gonna go into Over the Bloom. That's this shade right here. I just put this in the transition. I'm gonna put this over the bloom. So this is helping me experiment with like, oh, I've seen her wear a color like this a lot. Oh, this is pretty, Joy. I wouldn't have thought, I would not have put these two together. Would not have put these two together. That's really pretty. Um, this is gonna force me to experiment a little bit. So that's good. I need to. I don't know what I'm gonna do for my inner corner. Maybe that purple again. All right, and then I'm gonna take the same brush. I'm gonna put it into that, the smudge off here, but I'm gonna, I wanna pack it into my crease and make it a little bit, I'm gonna spray it. I wanna make it a little bit darker. I wanna get hard pan though. Let's see. Oh, that is so pretty. See how you can just darken up that, it's like the same shade, but you can darken it up by just wetting your brush. Oh, oh that's so pretty. All right, let me do, I'm gonna do a little bit more on that outer corner. I'm gonna spray again and then Oh yeah, okay, that's better too. Oh, that's so pretty. <gasps> Yay, thank you, Joy. I never would have chosen these together. See, you gotta inspire me to do more. You should pick more of my palettes for my looks. Oh, I love that. Okay, I love that. And then I'm gonna take, um, what brush do I wanna take? I'm gonna take this, this is the Refer 26. I'm gonna go back into that smudge off and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna bring it a little bit more into there. Actually, I'm gonna spray it because I wanna put that more, I wanna get that more in the crease. And then I'm gonna blend it. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty that is. All right, Joy, you did not steer me wrong. I was a little nervous, but I'm always a little nervous when I do these type of things. Everybody always laughs. They're like, you say, I always say you're so nervous. Um, and then I'm going to blend it out with this rougher 27. Let me get right up in there and just blend it up. Blend those harsh edges. Oh my gosh, I really love this. Okay. All right, so I think that's the look. I really, I'm really happy with this. I, um, actually, no, I lied. I am going to take the, I'm going to take the O2 from Ruffer, clean that off a little bit. I'm gonna go back into that prickly please and I'm just gonna put it a little bit on the inner here. It's matte though, I wish it were a shimmer. Just to kind of brighten that up a little bit. Okay. Well, I got some brushes to clean. All right guys, so I think that is the completed look. Um, I'm not, I'm not upset about it. So let me, I'll be right back. I'm going to do my, um, I'm going to do liner, not liner. I'm just going to do mascara. I think mascara and my fake awake and I'll be back for my outro and lips. I got to do lips. I'll be back. Okay. So I lost the footage of the end look. So I hope that you like this video. Um, if you do give it a thumbs up. 
And if you liked me, I hope you consider subscribing. I'm bummed that I didn't have the footage with my lashes and everything, but you saw the look. I loved it. And Joy, I hope this is okay. Um, if not, I'll do another one. <laughs> I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.